Typically, you'll fly with all your steer points pre-configured by the mission planner, but in an open multiplayer environment this is often not the case, and you'll have to program in your steer points in manually prior to takeoff or react to a dynamic situation and add them in flight as tasking becomes available. Open your steer point page by pressing 4 on the ICP. We can increment our steer point number with the rocker switch, or type the desired number and press enter. On this page we can see the latitude and longitude coordinates, along with the elevation and time on station. We need coordinates in the format of degrees, minutes, decimal minutes to three decimal places. We can cycle between manual and automatic waypoint sequencing by pressing sequence. In auto mode the aircraft will automatically increment to the next waypoint when you reach your currently selected waypoint. We can get coordinates from the F10 map, Coordinates of our mouse cursor are shown in the top left of the screen. We can cycle the format with left alt and Y. Pressing this twice we can get to our desired format degrees, minutes, decimal minutes. Alternatively, we can choose the default format in the options menu. Write down our coordinates and elevation, and then we'll enter them into the computer. We'll cycle to an empty steer point. Press the DCS switch down to that and we'll enter our latitude. Press 2 for north. 4, 2, 1, 4, 6, 1, 5, and enter. For longitude we'll press 6 for east. Next, we need to ensure our coordinates fit the entry format. This means we need three figures for degrees, so we'll have to add an extra zero on front of our coordinates, as we only have two characters currently. Zero. 4, 2, 0, 2, 6, 2, 5, and press enter. Cycle down again to elevation, and enter the elevation in feet, 4, 3. At the bottom we have our time on station, we can set the time that we wish to arrive at that steer point. This is in Zulu format, not local. We cannot yet set this however. It ties into the cruise page, open by returning and pressing 5 on the ICP. Unfortunately, this is not present in DCS yet, but we'll go over it in Falcon BMS in preparation for its release, as they should be very similar. Here we have the system time, the destination time on station to our currently selected steer point, our estimated time of arrival at that steer point, along with the required ground speed in order to arrive there on time. Pressing sequence we can see the predicted remaining fuel when we get there, the wind, direction and speed. Pressing sequence once more gives us the get me home page. You can set which waypoint is home plate, and see our predicted fuel remaining on arrival, and the optimum altitude to fly at. Finally we've got the endurance page, giving us our time until we reach bingo fuel and the optimum Mach number for longest endurance. As a final caveat for early access, at the time of recording we can only successfully edit existing steer points. Creating new ones in-game will not add correctly to the system, and as a result do not show up on the HSD, making them unusable for navigation, nor do they work as a CCRP bombing aimpoint. For use of the targeting pod you require at least one steer point set in the editor, otherwise you will not be able to use CCRP. If you have used the targeting pod at any point during your mission, you will also be unable to enter new coordinates into your steer point, as they will be automatically overwritten with the TGP's current location even when in standby mode. You can attempt to work around this by turning the TGP entirely off, hardpoint included, and then changing to another waypoint, but this of course will result in the loss of one waypoint and is not entirely reliable either. I'm hoping this will be resolved soon. I hope you enjoyed, and take care.